with frosty weather slowly starting to appear. Now is the time to get cooking some warming winter recipes, and Jamie Oliver has plenty of ideas to inspire. His latest is a hybrid of two well-loved British meals, a cottage pie and bangers and mash, putting them both together as one. The recipe sees fluffy, bubbling mash paired with delicious pork sausages and fresh vegetables in a one-pot dish, making for an easy clean-up later. Not only that, cooks who have tried the recipe themselves have described it as delicious while others branded it genius. Taking to his YouTube channel, he said his dish offers a turbo change of veg in a game-changing cottage pie. In the video's comments, one viewer wrote, made this on Wednesday. Um, my husband and I scoffed a lot. Delicious Jamie, while another followed with, the mash pie based is a genius idea, we'll give it a try. If you're also on the hunt for new dessert suggestions, James Martin's apple and pear crumble has been hailed as an autumn favorite. Read below for the full ingredients list and method to make Jamie's sausage pie, as reported by The Express. Jamie Oliver's sausage and mash pie recipe ingredients, 1.2 kg potatoes 6 higher welfare Cumberland or veggies sausages olive oil 2 large leeks 2 eating apples half a bunch of thyme, 10 g, 4 tablespoons plain flour 600 ml semi-skimmed milk 3 teaspoons of English mustard. Method, preheat the oven to 200 C slash 400 F slash gas 6. In the meantime, peel the potatoes, chop them into even chunks and cook in a large pan of boiling water for 15 minutes, until tender. Meanwhile, brown the sausage in a large non-stick casserole on medium heat, tossing regularly while you trim the leeks, have lengthways, wash, and slice 1 cm thick. Peel, core and choose the apples into 1 cm chunks. Once golden, remove the sausages onto a plate and add the leeks and apple to the pan. Strip in most of the time and add a splash of water. Season then cover for 20 minutes, stirring occasionally. Drain the potatoes, mash with half the flour, then season to perfection. Lightly rub a 20 cm by 28 cm baking dish with oil. Once the mash has cooled down, use your fingertips to spread two-thirds of it across the base and sides of the dish. Newsletter here, 